Oban Birmingham is an explorer who loves animals. Sure, he's only eight years old, but he's very wise beyond his years and knowledgeable about nature. I've always loved animals um, since since I was not even one. Um, me and my dad used to look at the birds and squirrels early in the morning. I want to be a naturalist for a National Geographic. But for about six months, Oban battled cancer. He was in and out of the hospital, going through treatment. Oh, I had buckets, leukemia, and lymphoma. Um, and it was really rough. He was in rough state and did a few stints in the ICU. At one point, he couldn't even stand December of 2020 because of the chemo was so harsh. He went to hell and back, but, um, you know, here he is bouncing back, uh, you know, good as new these days. Good as new and trying new things, Oban got to fulfill a dream, go out in the field with National Geographic. Thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, he knew for such a big wish, it may take a while to coordinate. When Oban asked to go out in the field with National Geographic Explorer, they mm -hmm. said, are you willing to wait? Remember? And I was like, yes. National Geographic photographer and explorer Carlton Ward volunteered to take Oban out with him in Florida. I mean, for, for a few minutes, I had like no words. Yeah, you were stunned and you were happy to have waited, right? I was like, I was, my face was just like that. I was just happy. Ward gave Oban a taste of what it's like to photograph some of Earth's wildest life. We saw a lot of alligators, we saw a wild turkey, we saw wild hogs, and on the camera trap that he set up, there was a male and a female Florida panther. Yeah, they hadn't seen that before, right? It was the first camera trap mm -hmm. we checked. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that was like, I think that was brand new to see in, in any camera trap. With this experience, Oban may have a job waiting for him at National Geographic one day. And as for his favorite animal, a peregrine falcon, and they're the fastest animal that scientists have ever found that has lived, and it can go to 115 miles an hour. Yeah, I know a lot of strange and crazy animals.